Welcome to the Go Ham Show. I'm DJ Go Ham, and I, uh, um, I just kind of went blank right there. Um, um, <laughs> welcome to the Go Ham Show. We're gonna watch uh, uh, Nico Bands. All right, I've been smoking a lot tonight, and sometimes, like, for moments of times, like, I forget, like, you know, we're, like, doing stuff at the moment. I- I'll be forgetting that. I'll be recording sometimes. I don't know if you guys be noticing that, but I'll be getting all paranoid and shit, looking around, trying to see if I'll be seeing, like, bugs crawling around like a big-ass spider or something. Like, I gotta jump up and kill it or some shit. I don't like seeing big-ass spiders. Uh, speaking of kill or death, um, l- let's talk about somebody who just recently died, and that is Nico Bands. Apparently, he was friends with this guy named Skinny from the Nine. Now, I've never heard of anything by Skinny from the Nine other than he gets beat up a lot because he apparently snitches a lot and confronts people in public restaurants. <laughs> it's terrible, but either way... um. We're going to watch uh, Nico Bands, may he rest in peace, because I think he was friends with his uh, brother, Skinny Friend of Nine's brother. I think that's his manager or something like that. Anyway, they reposted this video on Skinny Friend of Nine's channel. I don't think he... He does got something new out. No, that's on Worldstar. I need to do some more Worldstar videos, but but not Skinny from the Nine's. Anyway, we're going to take a skinny-ass hit. I'm always talking about, oh, I need to do more videos like this. <laughs> oh, shit. <coughs> I do so many damn videos. <coughs> and then people call it spam. Well, I like spam. God damn it. It's the Go Ham Show. We, we serve a lot of spam here. Oh, bitch, you beat the fucking bricks out, you dumbass nigger. Nigger. And so my fucking dead Alright, to address this right very right now, I'd slap the shit out of him. Um, but, uh, but besides that, the main reason why we're talking about this kid is that this kid actually is an asshole. And he approached somebody and was like, you know, they caught it all on social media. He approached them and was talking about how he is like a crip or whatever and that he had beat their ass and was calling them niggers and shit. Well, either way, um, it it was embarrassing for him because he got his ass beat. But it went viral, and I guess this is him following up on the quote-unquote success of it. But he overdosed from Xanax, so I don't know if that was uh, the way the world was working against him or if that was just the balance of how life is uh, going for each other. The thing is, I didn't want to do this at first because I thought, like, this was just, like, a rumor because, like... I don't know, it was, like, it was like reported on this little death site or whatever, but he didn't really have that much of a career anyway, but uh, let, let's just keep watching. Yeah. 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 Say you got the clocks, boy, you got the ooze, you see me up like it's in a blooming. I'm with the locks, you know that they shoot it. Sex and rush, so they call me blue. How about the V, we beating them up. Catch me up, you know I'm a dunk. I'm smoking on gas, I'm smoking on runs. Catch a body, dump his ass. Okay, whoever, you know, shot this dude's video, they did a really good job. But I'm going to be real with you. He looks like this dude named Progress. And he did this video about Baby Goth exposing her. And he kind of reminds me of that guy. In the face, just the eyes and how the chin is. But, like, I don't know. Like, the rest of, like, just, like, the rest of his body is just kind of off, like... You know, but I don't know if it's the hairstyle or what, but he kind of looks like progress. I- I'll put up an image of him or something like that. Yeah. 
A lot of people are saying like he probably paid a bunch of these niggas just to be in his video with his first little record deal. But I don't know if he got a record deal or whatever, but whoever shot this is the, the, the thing because this this looks like y'all like really, really put in the work. Because sometimes like yeah, if you put in the work, you can make something like this happen. But when you got like, you know, a budget behind you and you already know people who already know people, then it's easier just to get a whole bunch of people to show up with their cars, have a whole bunch of people stand there just behind you and make you look cool. But the thing is the objective is is to have as many people in the background as possible to make it seem like you as ganged up as possible but in reality a lot of these niggas don't even be gangsters or whatever they just be some niggas who just be cool with each other on some real shit He just sounds like dirty on a track though. That's why I'm just all like, God damn, like I I I feel his energy. I don't know why. I don't wanna feel his energy, but I just like I'm just like, yo, I think this dude, if he really is dead, I hope I, I may he rest in peace with a question mark, but Either way, I think he he could have had actual could have actually had a career if he had like you know fire like this every single time. Woo, bitch. Man, this video is taking forever to long. Oh, that beat is hard. That was beautiful. Oh, I thought I was gonna have R.I.P. at the end. See, see, the thing is, is like, like I said, this was posted on Skinny from the Nines page, and apparently they beefed in the past, so I don't know why he would post this on his page. And yeah, apparently he died, and that's unfortunate. If you guys do Xanax, please be careful. Don't overdose, especially in a time like this, where hospitals are really, really, you know, packed and whatnot in certain areas. But either way, you guys don't do this what this guy did like what he does is like for clout and it doesn't help anybody and it makes him look like a jackass at the end of the day sure he has a rap career but in the end like was it all worth it just to make it make yourself look like this terrible person because say he loses that rap career or like his clout doesn't go anywhere or it just, just all cools off, basically, because that's what it is. Your clout comes from how hot you are, and if you cool off, you don't really got no clout no more, do you? So, on some real shit, like, if he would have just been a meme, I don't know if he would have just been a meme or if he would have been a real artist. The point is, I just, I like that track. It was okay. I can't find my mouse. Oh, there we go.